Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Um, this is a video I've been meaning to make for a long time and it's about the E36 and very similar E46 rear suspension compared to E90 and the problems that sometimes happen with uh, the E36, E46. The subframe over here is an E90 M3 subframe. As you can see, uh, the control arms, it, uh, there's a bunch of them uh, and they're all quite short, especially the ones on top, the one where the spring sits is a little longer. E46, E36 has only two control arms and they're quite tall. Uh, in the picture it doesn't maybe doesn't show like like there's a big difference, but in real life it's a huge difference. Um, and that's one of the key features what makes that car perform so well, because if you have very long control arms, it means that you're not changing the geometry much under compression. There's also one problem with it, of course, and as you can see over here, the pickup points of the suspension are much closer to the center of the car compared to the E90, um, which is of course a much beefier subframe because that car is much uh, newer. Um, however, that means that there's much more leverage on the subframe and the pickup points are not spreading out as far uh, to handle that. So what sometimes happens is that these chassis have tears on the underside it happens quite a lot. And sometimes if you keep driving, it also happens on the top. So we have a solution for that um this is the location where they tear out but then on the underside of the car uh, we've marked them out on this side where we cut them and uh, there is the final result after cutting it out what i always do is i go in the middle of these uh, circles which have a normal have a little plastic covers in them uh, which is not exactly the middle of this because the, uh, the distance between these points is not similar however this point is exactly uh, where uh, this bushing sits um, but I like to have these um, these distances the same for when you weld the plate back in, which is obviously what we're going to do. Uh, it's it's uh, visually a lot nicer. If you look at the front pickup point, that's over here. So that's this guy right here. Um, we just cut this out as well. This one sits um, uh, in the middle of these um, holes over here, which still have the plastic covers on there. You've got to be careful not to cut too far from here because this I like to keep this point um untouched over here you can see how it's marked out um, so it's actually pretty straightforward and the piece that we're using is this piece uh, it's a piece that we sell you can check it on einsel.nl and it connects the four uh, points of the subframe to the suspension towers which also means that you're reinforcing over there and this is the four points uh, where that's gonna gonna sit on uh, solving your problems right there so it's obviously very important to remove all the paint so that um, you have a good surface to weld. The gray stuff is actually some kind of primer, so it's not super thick. It's very easy to take off. And um, yeah, that's what it looks like. You, uh, it's of course the same over here. It's a very weird shape. So um, use um, like some kind of uh, wire brush on a drill or something and remove all that stuff over there. So that's what it looks like welded up. Um, you want to have a lot of uh, penetration with this kind of stuff because it's a, it's a very um, structural part of the car. I usually um, cut a hole in the middle over here and then you can use um, a hole saw for that. So you would be able to slide it around here and then uh, weld it in place again and that's what it ends up looking like on the e46 on the pro car um, as you can see you weld the plates back over there this is a slightly different design as you can see we changed from the traditional cross that we used to have to uh, more of a square and that's because uh, it's easier to get the quick change um, breather because the quick change breather comes out and then it goes to that canister over there which makes it very easy for us to fill the quick change. Uh, obviously I need to route this hose again, but it was just a test thing that we did. Um, so yeah, so that's what it looks like when it's all done and painted. So that's a little explanation on that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If there's any more stuff that you'd like to see, uh, just comment below uh, and subscribe of course, because that's uh, pretty cool of you. You're doing me a favor with that. And of course my videos get higher in the algorithm so if you like it uh, hit subscribe and like and comment i try to respond to every comment that you make so uh, try me out